To use Cam Studio, you need to go to the camstudio.org site and download it. Make sure you are going to the camstudio.org site or the SourceForge site because otherwise you may be setting yourself up to get viruses on your computer. I know I did this when I was looking for my download for my Cam Studio. So it's simple download. You need to choose a few options and then voila, you're ready to record screencast movies. Cam Studio is a free open source screencast software package that provides basic and a few extended features you can use to create a simple but still professional screencast. The interface of Cam Studio is pretty intuitive and you should be able to pick it up. There is not a lot of options here, so there isn't it doesn't go in too much depth. Before you start recording, there will be a couple of things that you will need to do. The first thing is you're going to need to choose what the scope of your recording will be. In other words, you're going to re you're going to need to choose if you're only going to record a portion of the screen or the whole screen. To choose what to record, you open the region menu and select one of the available options. Region, fixed region, or full screen. If you select fixed region, you can set the height and width and the vertical and horizontal positioning for the region. The other thing you will need to do is to choose whether or not you're going to record audio. From the options menu, you remove the check in front of the do not record audio option if you don't want to record a mute movie. If you decide to record audio, you can choose the audio input device, either a microphone or speakers, and then configure their options. This is accessible from the options menu. Since Cam Studio doesn't offer you any options for editing, if your computer doesn't have a mic input, as is the case with my PC, you will have to use an audio recording device and another screencast program that will allow you to edit in your audio and sync it up. That is exactly what I had to do to make this video. This video is actually a ScreenFlow video. The other thing that Cam Studio will require you to do is to select the output format before you start recording. You only have two options, that's AVI and SWF. You do that by pressing the record to flash slash AVI button right here. It says SWF. If you click on it, then you see how it switches to AVI. If you need a flash video and you forgot to select that before you recorded your video, you can convert an AVI file to a flash later by choosing the SWF producer from the tools menu. Now that you have that all set up, it's time to record. You can do that by pressing the red record button or you can choose the record option from the file menu. Once you start recording, in the main window you're going to see the number of frames you're recording, the length of the movie, the dimensions, etc. If you have chosen to record a fixed region, you will see a green placeholder which shows the coordinates of the area you are recording. I wasn't able to show you on the screen the green coordinates. They will be up here, but what this does show you is exactly what you will be recording. So if you notice, I set my region at 720 by 480 and so that is the only area that it is recording. If you want to temporarily stop the recording, just press the pause button or choose the pause option from the file menu. And when you want to end the recording, you press the stop button, which is the blue square. Or you can also do that from the file menu. When you do press the stop button and stop recording, a dialog will appear to either save it as an AVI file or save it as a SWF file. Then you just type the name of the file and then press OK. After that, you can preview your movie. You may be disappointed because you will quickly find that the free Cam Studio doesn't offer any options for editing. You can't change the sound or the video. You can't add other video clips to it. You can't add images to it. 
It's very basic. And you also only get the two players, the one for the AVI movies and the one for Flash that come with a free software in order for someone to watch your video. The only post-production task that you can perform with Cam Studio is to add screen annotations and video annotations. You do that under the Tools option, which is the same place that you went to to choose the SWF producer. You can configure what cursor, if any, you want to appear on the screen. And you can also set up keyboard shortcuts for record, pause, and stop. But more or less, those are the only capabilities you have. If you need more features, which you will if you, if you are going to continue to use screen capture videos in your video productions, you're going to need to consider purchasing a commercial package like Camtasia Studio or Screenflow, the one I use.